what's up so welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before do you like that i added something new to my intro today's video is going to be a room tour i have been wanting to make this video for so long but um, I haven't really been like 110% satisfied with how my room has been since we moved in almost two years ago And I'm so happy with how my room looks. I'm, I'm actually like so in love with my room And I hope you like it too. I hope you like this video Make sure to subscribe down below if you want to if you want to see more of my videos um, I think this is going to be my setup for regular non-music videos and then my studio Which you will see will be my background for uh, covers. <laughs> let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Let me know what you want to see down below and Let me just stop talking and let's go ahead and get on with the video shall we? I have this painting on my door that I got for my birthday a couple years back And then this is what my room looks like when you walk in So I have this on the right side of my door when you walk in. I don't know what it's called, but I made it from a mirror that was just too small and I attached some twine um, and put some pictures and a pair of sunglasses on it. And then on the bottom, I attached some hooks to hang my backpack and jacket. Then on the left side of my door, I have my two backpacks that I use for school. And then I have this thing that I bought from Michaels. I also don't know what it's called. I'm really bad at naming things. I'm so sorry. But I just hung my sunglasses and pictures of my family. Because I love my family. And on the bottom next to my swing chair, I have a basket of some throw pillows. And this is my bear. His name is MJ. Um, I got him for Christmas. And then my Care Bear that I've had for a very long time. And then on this wall, I just have these curtain lights that I bought from Amazon because I'm in love with lights. On my headboard, I have some books. I have a lot of poetry books just because I can get by them a lot faster. Um, and I don't really have a lot of time to read. But on the top of this other stack, it's I got this from Target and it like amplifies the sound of your phone. So you don't really need like an aux cord or anything. It's really cool. I have this Dear Angel frame that my mom gave me a couple of years back. And I have my letter board from Amazon. I have these little like cute, adorable hand creams that I got as a gift when I lived in Korea. And the box in the middle is just these pressed pennies from places that I've been. The pink mug just has all of the letters for my letter board. I have this Eiffel Tower, a candle and candle holder, and then my Tsum Tsum piggy bank. Some other things I have on my headboard, I just have a bunch of hats from concerts or um, shows that I've been to. I have a memory box for 2018, some cameras, a snow globe, a squishy that my cousin gave me, a little holder for candy and stuff and then just a whole bunch of notebooks that I honestly don't even use because they're just too cute and then in this side I have some candles and my water because you gotta stay hydrated on the side of my bed I put like these command strips to hang my remote just because I always lose them on my bed I have this tray that I got from Ross a notebook some pens perfume and a little planner so this is actually my favorite part of my room, it's just these exotic leaves and my good vibes neon sign that I made in 3, 2, 1. This is what it looks like in the dark. Um, by the way, I don't have both of my sign and my curtain lights going at the same time typically, but let's get back to the light. Um, if you want to see how I made it, let me know and I'll make a whole separate video on that. So across from that wall is my walk-in closet. Hey, it's me. And on top of my mirror is my name that I got done in Hawaii. And this is just my TV and some drawers that I have a lot of junk in. On top of my drawers, I have this Hello Beautiful sign. My sister actually made me the frame and I kind of just repurposed it. Um, this cute little cactus that I got from Hobby Lobby. Another Eiffel Tower a little sensory bottle, a terrarium filled with some fairy lights, and then a candle lid with some little knickknacks on it. And then my best friend made me this letter R, and my mom gave me this angel. I got this shelf from Ikea. So on the first tier, I just have the unicorn plushie from Despicable Me and a Polaroid camera. On the second tier, I have these mini marquee letters that I got for Christmas that spell out RJ, and this container that I put a flower in. This next year has my high school diploma and my corsage from prom as well as a Hello Kitty graduation plushie. 
On this shelf is just my jewelry and a picture frame that my roommate from freshman year got me. This next one, I got these three glass um, light bulbs from Hobby Lobby and I just filled them up with crystals that I got from Amazon and then another angel that my mom got me. The second to the last one just has these cute candles that I got from Hobby Lobby and a box of roses that I made. And this last here has a hat that says you tried because I'm really trying with this video and it's I don't know what I'm doing. I forgot to show this earlier but I have my shoes at the feet of my bed and some on my stairs. This is another wall. Here's an overview of it. Hey. So this string art I actually made myself. It says you are confined by the walls you build yourself. I stenciled out the letters, painted it black, nailed the nails, and then strung the string across. And then the two light bulbs on the side I got from this boba place by my house. Filled it up with some um, moss and fake flowers. On the bottom I have an ottoman with my little Pooh Bear Zoom Zoom and my camera bag and tripod. So inside this crate I just have yearbooks from middle school and high school and then on top of them I have another Polaroid camera because I am obsessed. On top of the crate I have my laptop, my drawing pad, my charger, um, a speaker that connects to my record player, and then a scrump doll because I love scrump. On the side I have a terrarium with real cacti that haven't died yet. And then I have this playbill that I got as an invitation for my auntie's debut and it's really cute so I kept it as decor. The Enchanted Rose from Beauty and the Beast, which I made myself. And then you have my record player with the her vinyl in it, my speaker, and then a Tigger, oof oof -y. that smells like apple blossoms. So on the side of all of that, I have this rose gold cart that I got from Wayfair, I believe. It was originally white, but I wanted it to be rose gold, so I just spray painted it. And this was actually the very first thing I had in my room when we moved in. Anyways, I have this cinema light box on top that just says breathe because I know that life is crazy sometimes and it's just a reminder to breathe. And then on top I just have some Tsum Tsums and on the side I have a panda piggy bank. Then these um, bottom two tiers are just like makeup palettes and all of that stuff. Just makeup really, like I, I don't know how else I can explain that. It's makeup. In this first little um, cubby I have a Her Vinyl and a Kehlani Sweet Sexy Savage CD and a little basket with some flowers and two notebooks. In this next one I have my toothless Build-A-Bear and a little sign that says be the same person in the dark that you are in the light. And this next one has little pictures of me when I was a baby. And I have this puka shell that I got from Swap Meat in Hawaii and then a wine glass bottle. And in this last one I just have some pop Funko figures that I got for Christmas last year. On my blinds I just have a whole bunch of Polaroid pictures I have taken over the years or printed from my Instax printer. Above my blinds I have a shadow box that says count your blessings and there's just some notes in there that people have given me for my birthday and stuff. And then I have this rose gold flower arrow that my best friend made me for Christmas and this other shadow box that says one day with a whole bunch of concert mementos because hopefully one day I will be having my own concerts you know it's a dream. On this wall I have a yarn tapestry that I made a little while ago and it just took me for freaking ever but it's okay because it turned out nice on the other side I have another set of marquee letters that spell out RJ these ones are bigger though can you tell I'm obsessed with lights and having my initials around my room under it I just have these clipboards for the date and like a dry erase type board as well across from that I have a banner that I also made that says adventure awaits and I just have pins from cities or states that I've been to, as well as concerts and stuff like that. I have these flower garlands hanging from my doorway that leads to my studio, because I just think it's cuter than having um, a regular door there. And this is my studio! On this wall, I have this typical tapestry that I got from Amazon, where you can take super cute pictures. And then across from that, I have this shelf where I have a whole bunch of snow globes and Hallmark Disney stuff. And then on the very top, I have my Disney Funko Pop figures that I got for Christmas last year. Next to it, I have this Paris um, wall decal that I got for my birthday. And these two crates with just a whole bunch of my art supplies that I try to organize to the best of my ability. And then this is my desk that I don't really use because I like to do things close to my face and it's kind of hot in here. But I have my Cricut and then I have this pegboard with some more decorations that friends have given me. 
um, as gifts. And I have this cork board with my lyric sheet from Alex, some strings, some paint, stuff like that. You know, typical art supplies. And then those are vinyls that I use for my Cricut as well. And then I have a light and a paper cutter and paper. In this first basket, I have stuff that I use to make my pins. And then this bottom one is just music stuff like for my microphone, for my beat pad or for my camera and stuff. And then in this basket, I have bigger things that just couldn't fit in the drawers like canvases, um, scrapbook paper, marble contact paper, stuff like that. And this is the last wall that I am going to show you guys. It's my like music wall. I have my ring light, my two ukuleles that I hung up by myself, by the way. And then I have this picture of Will and Alex that I bought from Phil. And this is a grid that I just have um, tickets from the concerts that I've been to. Polaroid pictures that I printed out from my Instax printer. Um, these meet and greet posters that I got from shows that I've been to. I have my VidCon laminates and other laminates that I got from meet and greets. And then I have my guitar hanging and my microphone on the other side as well. I hope you guys liked that video. Um, I'm sorry if like some parts were awkward. I really didn't know what I was doing, like to be real honest with you. I hope you guys liked my room. If you did, you know, hit that like button or don't, like you don't have to, it's fine. I'm awkward, dude, Lord help me. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Peep my shirt, guys. It says, you were never second best. And I'm sure everyone knows where this is from, hopefully. I mean, if you don't, it's fine. It's from the movie to all the boys I've loved before out on Netflix. They should pay me to say that in every video. But I made this shirt. It says you were never second best. And if you want one like this, I mean, let me know. And I will sell them on my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop, shop <laughs> will also be linked down below if you want to buy some pins. That's primarily what I sell. Um, and my song that I wrote called Peter Kavinsky will also be linked down below. I'd really appreciate that if you check it out. It almost has 600 views, which is just so amazing to me. This is my first video for my channel, like first official video, because I'm going to start trying to upload weekly, maybe bi-weekly. Wait, wait, wait. Weekly. Maybe twice a week. So I was thinking of doing um, DIY videos on Thursday and then covers or originals that I wrote on Monday and they can be called Music Mondays. Whoa, that's that's what my channel holds. That's what I'm hoping for this channel and I hope you guys will stick around and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>